Hello everyone, Tarantula Dan here and I hope you're doing well today. So before I begin this video, as always, don't forget to like, leave a comment and subscribe. It does really help me out. And of course, feel free to uh, share my content. It does really help me as well. And if you'd like to support me further, I do have a Patreon and a PayPal. All information can be found in the description as well as annotations at the end of the video. So I just got back from the BTS 2019, the British Tarantula Society Show. And as always, it was amazing. Now. Today is actually the 21st of May, uh, it is Tuesday, and I was meant to have a video for today, but to be fair, yesterday I was exhausted and I didn't get back from the show till late, so I'm going to be doing basically my pickups, um, and then obviously just sort of talking about other things throughout the video as well, so I hope you enjoy it. And of course, if you were at the show, um, I really do hope that you enjoyed it, and it was great to meet some of you there. So at this show, I didn't actually buy anything myself. Uh, I was not really interested in buying anything at this show, mostly because of the amount of breeding that I'm planning on doing over like, the next sort of few months, year, whatever. I just figured it would be best to sort of focus on the species that I already have. However, I did receive a gift off someone while I was there, and that is Ames Freeman's uh, her YouTube channel. Of course, I will link it in the description as well as the annotation. Um, I met her, I've been speaking to her for a, a while, sort of on YouTube, um, on like social media and things. Um, very active on my, on my channel. And I met up with her and had a chat. And then as she was leaving, she came up to me and just gave me a bag and said, oh, this is for you. And then I like, kind of like disappeared kind of thing. Um, and she very kindly bought me two tarantulas, which I have here. And I will show them to you. Uh, the first one, of course, is the K. Brunipes, the Pygmy Fire Lake. I will get close with this because I've kind of fixed... Uh, problem with my laptop uh, however she also got me this one which I don't know what it is because it's not labeled I went to the spider shop where I believe she got these from and asked uh, Sam like look I have no idea what this is do you know uh, and he said look it could be anything which I is the response I expected from him because that's what I would have said but um, so yeah I have a pygmy fire leg and a mystery trash so this one I will have to raise and wait for it to grow and then we can see what that is so that's quite a cool surprise and to Amy a huge thank you and I of course you deserve the shout out uh, because I didn't actually buy anything else there I literally I, I didn't buy anything so that is my pickups uh, something else that I've just forgot about that I'm now going to insert somewhere into the video I don't know where yet but it'll be like wedged in somewhere I got a whole bunch of stuff from the spotter shop now as you know, I work with the spa shop at the shows, I get on great with um, all of the staff there and they have provided most of my collection to be fair. But um, I did pick up a few things, um, firstly these cards that have a wonderful picture of a Chromatopelma cyanopubescence on the card, but on the back is the spa shop logo with the actual details, so my plan is depending on the, you know, the, the angles it's actually have uh, these sort of dotted around the room so people can remember where I get this. It's sort of like permanent free advertising, I guess. Uh, by the way, I'm not paid. This is not a paid review or anything, but uh, yeah, I've got a few of those I'm gonna sort of dot around because why not? Uh, also, I've uh, got this. This is actually something that I do need to put up in my videos um, and maybe try and get a, a quick shot of it in future videos. Uh, this is the shows for the, the Inverse Shows UK shows, uh, the dates. So of course the next one is at Halifax in Bristol, Glasgow, Bedford and then in Brighton. And on the back is the dates. Now of course in the description of this video you can find all the information to uh, Inverse Shows UK but if you you know uh, don't look down there then there will be a picture on screen sort of over here, uh, over here. Um, with all of the dates. I would recommend if you see that, take a photo of it and uh, save it and then make sure you keep your eye on it. Uh, and before anyone asks me, I will not be at another Inverse show now until the Southern show because of work, I can't get the time off. But I will be at the Southern show on the 17th of November. I'm booked off the Friday and the Monday. So I'm gonna be going down and having a whole weekend down there. So you've got plenty of time to come on down and have a really good time. I met some great people last time, so uh, you should definitely um, consider the Southern Show. Really good weekend. And finally, I grabbed uh, a few of these posters. Now, I actually didn't realize that they were all the same thing, but it's perfect for me because uh, on the back, 
it just sort of talks about the uh, spa shop Mexican shipment. It's important in one way, but I'm not going to go over it in this video. But on the back, it is Baki Palma, which is awesome because, you know, I love Baki Palma. It's got the Baki Palma Aratum, the Boromai, Emilia, um, the Classy, the Smithy, uh, Vagans, Vero Desi, um, Tor Torgero. Um, I think I butchered that, as well as some other ones. So uh, it's a really, really good poster. Of course, Baki Palma is my favourite genus. And whilst I'm on about uh, Baki Palma, make sure you click in the description to Love Tarantulas, uh, their YouTube page, as well as lovetarantulas.com, because Andrew Smith currently has a five-part series going up on YouTube. Episode three went up on Friday, just gone. Um, all about the Bucky Palmer genus in the wild, so make sure. In fact, there'll be an annotation to Andrew Smith's page at the end, so make sure you uh, check that out because um, it's a really, really good series. But as I said, I actually got a few of these. I have three of these, and in all honesty, I I don't really know what to do with them, shall we say. Um, I don't need three. So what I'm going to do is, when this video goes up on Saturday, um, I'll post a picture of this poster on Instagram, no hashtags or anything like that. And the first people to comment on this, on the picture of this, say, I want one. There's, um, in fact, yeah, I'll do three. There's three of them available. If you want one, the first three people that comment and say the words Bracky Palmer, nothing else, just Bracky Palmer, I will sign one of these and I'll send it to you in the post. Um, so long as you are in England and that way you can have a Bucky Palmer poster um, signed by myself. Not that amazing but uh, something a little, a little bit different so keep your eye on my Instagram at Tarantula Dan Saturday just after 6pm uh, basically for the show. However I didn't really go there to buy things. Uh, I went there to work and to meet people and just have a really, really good time. So if you have, now you've seen my pickups, if you want to end the video, you're more than welcome to do so. However, if you would like to hear a little bit about what happened at the BTS, uh, I will tell you now and uh, hopefully it will be entertaining, I guess. So my whole BTS weekend actually started on a Thursday. Of course, I picked Petco up from the train station and over the, the next, uh, you know, the following days, we actually did uh, quite a lot of filming and I will be doing a weekend vlog. So there'll be like little snippets of things that are going to be coming up. But we had a really, really good time. I spoke to Petko um, on his way back home uh, when he's landed back in um, in Croatia. And I think I had on, on, on here what he actually said. So yeah, I sort of messaged him and just sort of said about... Um, yeah, I hope you had a really good time. I enjoyed it, everyone enjoyed it, and I'd love for him to come back again, of course. And uh, his response was that he'd already landed uh, in Croatia and was heading back to his town, which I, I won't name. And he said, yeah, I think it was obvious that I had a blast and uh, need to remember to bring a hoodie in November, which you won't understand that, but it's a thing between us. But um, yeah, he had a really, really good time. And I think I just did something accident. What did I do? Okay. So I just actually sent, sent Petco a thumbs up, Petco if you're watching that, I didn't mean to do that, sorry. Um, so yeah, we had a really, really good time, uh, but the actual BTS experience, to talk a little bit about it, um, of course you've got the night before, which was just fantastic, you'll see some of that in the upcoming vlog, which will probably be the next video after this. Um, I entered not one, but two tarantulas into the tarantula crufts, which was both the Pogletheria regalis and the Sarbar Blue, both of which you can see on screen now. Uh, these are absolutely amazing looking spiders. Sadly, though, neither of them won any prizes. But Garis uh, did uh, win a prize, so congratulations to him. Uh, Princess Sophie Pink also won for Best Children's Artwork, so a huge well to her. And Emma Lawler won as well for her uh, cross-stitch of the Pogletheria Metallica, I'll put that up on the screen. So uh, yeah, shout out to uh, Princess Sophie Pink, Predator Crown Line and Emma Lawler for their uh, their success in the uh, in the competition. Uh, of course, I got to meet loads of you. I uh, worked f on the spy shop till about one o'clock, did some autographs, had some photos and things there. Um, got off at one o'clock and then basically had a walk around and uh, I was pretty much sort of having photos and signing things and chatting to people 
for the next probably three hours or so. So um, that was really, really, really good. Um, it was a lot of fun. Although I have to mention that I've been doing some signings and was not just sort of signing. I always try to like leave a uh, a nice little message for people, you know, just something to, you know, it's sort of a uh, kind of personal, shall we say. And um, these people had been going to Pitco afterwards and getting Pitco to sign. And so Pitco had been signing them and then was writing things underneath my um, underneath my uh, my comments to them. Like, uh, you know, like, trying to down sucks, <laughs> things like that. So, uh, you know, that's, it's great because, you know, I always say this, but me and Petco have a really good relationship as, as you know, as far as friends go. Um, you know, we really do just get on great. And I think that kind of shows in that sense that, you know, the way that he is in that kind of way with people, like just giving each, each other digs and things. Um, but that was a lot of fun, uh, of course. I went and did some flossing. I'm not proud of this footage on screen, but I did do some flossing. Um, Harley Lion 08 came and asked me to, to be in a video, and I said, yeah, okay, I'll do that. And uh, so, yeah, basically, he wanted me to floss. I cannot floss, although I have kind of learned to do it now, thanks to his expert tuition. And I, I can honestly say, uh, lots of people think I'm quite confident. I hate dancing and singing and doing anything publicly. And when, I said to him, I'm not doing this here, we need to go outside and there's still people out there. And I felt like I was about to go on stage in a school play. You know, my heart sunk and I just thought, I'd, you know, it's the kind of thing, if I, I wanted to say, look, I'm not doing this. I don't want to do this. But of course I couldn't do that. I had to sort of go along with it because other YouTubers had done it. So I had to do it. Um, so yeah, that was... I'm going to say it was a lot of fun, but I'm lying, it wasn't, it was awful because I don't like dancing. But it was a good laugh to be fair, we had a good giggle and uh, we had sort of a little bit of an audience and it was actually, was it was a lot of fun in the end to be fair. So uh, shout out to Holly Lion 08 um, for making me floss and the other YouTubers that were there as well of course. It really, really just a you know, great little time with those. Um, and then yeah, we continued to sort of walk around again, still having photos, big taken with people and uh, things like that. Uh, if you go onto my Instagram at Tarantula Dan, uh, you will find many of the pictures I took with various people that I have on my camera. However, other people have pictures on me on their social media. I'm not sure who those people are. So if you do have a picture on your social media with me, either send it to me on social media or when I put uh, my pictures up, um, you know, leave a comment and say that, you know, that I'm in one of your photos so that myself and other people can maybe have a look at those as well. And then towards the end, I was, um, what's the word, contacted, I guess, by um, a gentleman who was uh, basically having some plans for a BBC series, and he came and asked me for um, for an interview for um, for a, a TV show, um, which he's planning, so I went and had a chat with him, which was a lot of fun. Um, I'm actually already kind of working on something, um, a TV show, uh, a documentary, in fact, with uh, the BBC. I won't say any more about that. Some people have known about it since I heard about it first. Um, and this is like first mention of it, and I won't discuss it anymore, but there's all these sort of plans in kind of in place for a uh, potential uh, BBC documentary that I'm gonna be working with, or on with, if that makes sense. Um, so now there might be another TV uh, docu you know, show, which is pretty good. And after that, I did that, you know, did my part in that. Uh, and then they wanted to know about sort of other people. So of course I had to sort of go and mention Princess Sophie Pink. So I went over to her parents um, and sort of with this gentleman and said, look, you know, this is you know, what's going on kind of thing, if you want to be involved. And yeah, of course. So um, we went back across to where the, the camera and everything was. She was a little bit kind of, um, a little bit shy and didn't really want to go and sort of sit with this, with this guy that she didn't know and uh, do this like, interview thing. So in the end, um, I ended up doing it instead. And that was a lot of fun to, uh, to sit down with, with Princess Sophie Pink and sort of ask her questions about uh, tarantulas and her animals and all, all that kind of stuff. I shan't sort of ruin it all, but there's a little bit of uh, footage which will be on screen of me doing that. And yeah, so that's something else 
to um, that might well lead to something. It's uh, certainly something a little bit different and is another sort of uh, experience that I had at the actual show. Speaking of Princess Sophie Pink, she also got me a really, really nice gift as well. I feel bad I didn't get her anything, so I might have to get her something at one of the next shows, but uh, she got me a keyring. Now, she actually got me a keyring at the last show that I met her the first time. It was only a very quick meet um, because of, you know, just the way the shows are. But um, it basically saw like one of these keyrings, which says Princess Sophie Pink. Uh, but on the other side, she's something wonderful. And I'll get a closer of this for the screen, but it's actually the photo of myself and Sophie at the Northern Invert Show and our two YouTube channels on it. And I thought that was a really, really nice touch. Um, just shows how wonderful her and her family are that they did this. They also got Petco one that says Petco is awesome. And he was like, oh, I'm better than you because mine says awesome. But, you know, mine has a picture of me and her together. So to Sophie's family, please don't get Petco one of him and her in the picture. Because if you do, then it will be better than mine. So, so, but no, joking aside, I mean, that was a really wonderful, wonderful, uh, you know, really wonderful thought. And I really do appreciate it. It was wonderful to meet you. I can't wait to meet you again at, uh, at a future show. Of course, for me, it's not just about the buying of inverts at these shows it used to be however now for me um it's more for me to go and meet you know some of my you know, my friends whether they're some of the, the youtubers uh the traders that are there and get you know the the friends that i made from like the bts and the lectures and things like these people all go there i also got to see the guys from guatemala as well and it's the first time that we've all been sort of together in one place since we were in guatemala uh, of course, Liard and I sort of speak to him fairly regularly and see him throughout the year at different shows. But like Michael and Martin, I hadn't seen them since... Uh, actually no, Martin I saw at the Northern show very briefly, but he was unwell. Michael I hadn't seen since Guatemala in the lectures. So it was nice to sort of, you know, to see him. And of course, the night before I took my, uh, my rum uh, from Guatemala and was offering that around to different people. Uh, some people who... I met before, um, I offered it to, and some people that were completely new, you know, and it was just nice to sort of go to these people and say, look, you know, let's have a drink. Uh, Guy Tansley, I think he may have had a sip, I, I can't remember. Um, but yeah, Daniela Sherwood, of course, had probably about 90% of the alcohol that I had in the bottle um, over sort of two sort of occasions. Um, but Michael had some and some other YouTubers and Petco. Uh, Petco actually had a Patreon who had travelled from Poland to come to the show and to meet uh, Petko called Conrad. Uh, was it Conrad or Connor? One of the two, I, I apologise, I can't remember exactly. In fact, I'm going to check because I feel bad. Conrad, sorry. Uh, yeah, so uh, this, this uh, Conrad gentleman travelled from Poland to meet Petko, one of his patrons, and uh, I got to talk to him. Really, really nice guy. And so he had some of the, uh, the rum as well. And it was just a really nice sort of atmosphere to sort of sit around and just talk to you know to like-minded people and not only that something that was really really um really really nice for me actually was uh, my brother came to the bts with me as well which was fantastic and um the last year has been kind of difficult shall we say um i think for both of us to be fair and he has no interest in spiders like at all and um after we've been on for a while, they're doing filming, which you'll see that on both my channel and Petco's channel. And also Dan's Wildlife is doing, um, he did a video on it as well. But he came out with us to do some filming, um, took the day off work for it. And he just asked me on the Friday evening, like, oh, what's the BTS like? And I said, well, I, I love it. You know, I, I really do love, I love the people and the show and everything involved with it. And he just said, oh, do you mind if I come with you? And I was like, yeah, I'd like, I'd love for you to come. So, um... Yeah, my, my little brother who has no interest in spiders has never been to a spider show who is he quite not he doesn't show interest in my spiders but we're very different. Yeah, what I do isn't for everyone. And so uh he ended up sort of coming and we spent the whole weekend together, which is it's the first time in a long time, especially since he moved out, um, uh, that we got to spend all his time together, you know, which was lovely. And he came and um he met me at the hotel and we you know, I introduced him to sort of, uh, you know, the people, you know, the people that were there and he got talking. I didn't have to worry about him. I, you know, he just sort of 
you know, he just he 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 actually really enjoyed uh, he enjoyed being there and he enjoyed the show, and so that for me was probably the highlight out of everything, just the fact that he sort of showed that much interest in it. So, yeah, it was um, it was a really good BTS for many many reasons for me. Uh, so I got to meet lots of you know really really wonderful people, um, new and old, and I got to share it with quite literally some of my best friends you know, my brother is my single best friend Petco is one of my best friends as far as I'm concerned uh, Dan and uh, Stefan Higgs of course the BTS committee uh, folk are all grace the spa shop people are great the other traders it's just it's just full of amazing people so it was just absolutely wonderful I really hope that if you went to the BTS that you will be able to like look back on the weekend and say actually you know what they did a really good show. It was a really, really good show. And I loved it. And I cannot wait, of course, for the show um, you know, next year as well. So, of course, make sure you sort of stay tuned on my channel for all of the videos coming up. There's a lot to do with the filming from this year. Obviously, the show video and the collaborations with Petco from the Dark Den. As well as that, I also have some collection updates as well as some breeding and there's, just, there's lots going on so please make sure you subscribe to my channel it does really help me out remember to share my channel my content um that is one of the the best ways to sort of help me sort of get out there shall we say so yeah i really hope you've enjoyed this video i know the actual pickup part was very very short but uh that is like i said that's what i got but it was a good opportunity to talk a little bit about the show and um, like I said, I, just, I hope you enjoy the future videos and please check out all of the people that I mentioned in this video. There will be links to everyone that I mentioned in this show in the description. I can't I can't link everyone that I met because the description would just be like a mile long, like a scroll. It's got bouncing, you know. But uh, a lot of the people that I that I met, you know, had experiences with over the, over the weekend. There will be links to their social media or YouTube channels. In the description of this video at the very top so thank you for watching everyone and um i will speak to you all soon in the next video and uh, yeah goodbye everyone take care